told me that you party with girls. I told her that I party with friends. Do you wanna talk to the girl? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Titila, and if this is your first time, you are most, most welcome. If this is not your first time, welcome back. So today's makeup look is a prom inspired makeup look. And if you like to see how I achieved it, please make sure to keep on watching. Tell me what you want from me, my baby. I can get you diamond rings and pearls tonight. So to prime my eyelid, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in beautiful bronze, and I'm just gonna take this all over my eyelid. And once I'm done patting it in, I'm going to set it with my airspun translucent powder. Tell me that you got me in Zeno, baby. My shimmy issue. My shimmy issue. Oh no, 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 no. Tell me that you drive me in Zeno, baby. Girl, my shimmy issue. My shimmy issue. For my transition shade today, I'm taking the Coastal Scents Eyeshadow Hot Pot in October 1st and I'm putting this directly into my crease and also blending it above my crease. Dara, Dara. To my new band 2 palette by Juvia's, I'm taking the color Morocco and this is a burnt orange color and I'm putting this directly into my crease and also blending it out. You're on the rate girl cause a man wanna wife you but you're lost in the sauce in the hats put a couple cheese in the purse. So I'm taking this chocolate hair color also from Coastal Scents and I'm also placing this directly into my crease. Flip a kilo to a milo, that's a million every day. I got what you need. So going back into my newborn 2 palette from Juvia's, I'm taking the color Jezebel and I'm concentrating this into my outer V, but I'm also dragging it into my crease. Under, girl, you're one in a million. The way you speak to me, oh baby, got me going crazy. Under, under, under. To cut my crease, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in beautiful bronze and I'm just taking a smaller brush and trying to carefully carve out the areas where I want my lead color to go. So next up, I'm going in with my MAC, my MAC Cosmetics Mixing Medium Gel and I'm using this above the concealer just to make sure the lid color doesn't transfer and is very, very pigmented. The color I'm using on my lid today is also from my Nuban 2 palette and it's called Shiba and I'm just going to pat this on. I'll be the happiness that moves your heart and when you sleep I'll find my way into your dream. Aha. What do you want from me? Aha. Like magic, like better, moshe, da da, moshe, je, je. One, two. So I went in with the color Jezebel, and I'm just using this to make sure I have no harsh lines on the lid color. So I'm taking the Siren by Juvia's, and I'm going in for this matte black color. And I'm just going to pat this on my outer V first and then taking another blending brush I'm going to use this to actually blend the color in. So to blend this I actually made sure I concentrated the color in, in my outer V but I still dragged it slightly into my crease, like a third into my crease. So I went in with the first brush I used to apply my transition color and I'm just using it to blend all the colors together. So to my face, I'm taking my Nivea Men Pro Shave Balm in Sensitive and this is my primer for today. Going in with my BH Cosmetics Pro Concealer Quad, I'm taking that orange shade and I'm using it to color correct my face. So I'm putting this in all of the areas where I have my hyperpigmentation. What do you want from me? Like magic, the foundation I'm using today is my MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid in NW58 and I'm just going to take my Juvia's Place Blending Brush and I'm going to put this all over my face. What do you want from me? 
Once I was done, I went in with my Lancome Visionaire foundation in 530 suede and I took the concealer portion of this foundation and I just put this directly in the areas where I felt like I needed more coverage. So I just put this above my lip area, on the top of my nose and around the sides of my lips. The concealer I'm using to highlight today is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW50 and I'm putting this in the usual areas I like to highlight, the top of my head, the bridge of my nose, underneath my eyes, my cupid's bow as well as my chin and I'm taking this Real Techniques blending sponge and I'm just using this to pat in the highlighting concealer. So you want to make sure that you're patting in the concealer and not dragging it because if you drag the concealer you're gonna have streaks and honey you don't want that trust me you don't <laughs> To set my highlight, I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to first of all set the highlight and then I'm going to add more powder to actually bake my face. Told me that you party with girls. I told her that I party with friends. Do you wanna so I took a smaller brush to apply this powder to my nose just so I don't have it all over the place and I have it concentrated to the area I highlighted. If you wanna talk to the girl, if you wanna talk to the girl, my So while my face was baking, I went in to complete my eye makeup look and I'm taking this eyeliner and just struggling to get this wing straight. So while I'm struggling, you guys can head on down and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Finer things tonight. Oh, no, 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 no. Taking this waterproof mascara by Yves Rocher, I'm gonna prep my eyelashes for when I apply my false eyelashes. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell me that you to take off the excess powder, I'm going in with my all over face powder from MAC and it's a Studio Fix powder in NW55 and once I'm done taking off the excess setting powder, I'm also going to use that same powder to set the areas of my face where I did not apply any setting powder. I'm also dragging this down to my neck to make, for, for, to make up for the discoloration that I have on my neck. So going in with this glitter, I'm putting this directly in my crease and this is just going to help me to exaggerate the cut crease effect. Going in with my Marc Jacob Highliner Crayon in Blacker, I'm going to tightline my eye. So I'm putting this in my waterline, both on the top as well as the bottom. Going back into my Saharan palette by Juvia's Place, I'm taking the color Katsina and I'm just going to put this above all of the colors that I applied and this is going to give me a more put together eyeshadow look. My blush for today is my Milani Baked Blush in Coralina and I'm just using this to add some more color to my face. Going back with my Ben Nye Mojave powder in Americano and I'm just going to put this in the areas that I usually like to contour. You speak to me, oh baby got me going crazy. And I took a smaller brush to contour my nose. So now I'm going to set my face using the NYX setting spray. Uh -huh. I went in with my liquid illuminator and gleam and it was really really hard to blend out on my already powdered face I actually wish I had gone in with this before I applied my foundation or mixed it in with my foundation to actually highlight my face I went in with my My Mimi um, highlighting powder from MAC and I used this to you know highlight the face to the highlighting gods So I couldn't pick out a two lip option so for the first lip option I am lining my lip with my Colourpop lip pencil in Creature and then I'm going in with my liquid lipstick from Lena Lashes in Lucius. I am so obsessed with this color. It's such an amazing color. 
All of it when you smile at me You will never have to weep with me I'll be the happiness that moves your heart And when you sleep I'll find my way into your dream uh -huh. What do you want from me? Uh -huh. Like magic, like wet, emotion, da da, emotion, jeje One, two, the boy back so for my second lip option, I'm going in with this wet and wild color icon cool pencil and I'm going to use this to line my lips. Then I'm going in with Mellow Cosmetics lipstick in nude and I'm going to place this in the center of my lips and smack them together until I have a very sheer coverage. For my lip gloss, I'm going in with this Milani lip gloss in Bare Secret and I'm going to put this all over my lip. Once I was done applying the lip gloss, I went back in to reline my lip. Let me know which lip you guys prefer. I honestly couldn't choose one. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I hope you guys have an amazing time at your prom or recreating this look. And if you do recreate it, make sure to let me know on my Instagram or my Snapchat. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. What do you want from me? Like my